Hey hustlers, welcome back to The Rich Hustle. It's your girl Anifa. And if you're new here, thank you for joining us. Today, I am going to be talking about how I make my own packaging for my business with my business name on there and just some unique packaging um, with just doing it yourself, some DIY tips on how you can do that. I don't know if you know, but Getting your packaging customized can cost a lot of money. There are many of companies that do it for you, but you're going to be paying upwards of 150 and up for packaging. So I wanted to find a quick little way that I can do it myself um, just to do some customization without breaking the bank. So I'm going to show you how I got that done with using embossing method. If you want to know how I did that, then just stay tuned. Okay, hustlers. So I just want to show you guys all of the material that I used in order to get this process done. So I got these black boxes from Amazon. Um, you just put them together yourself, but they come flat. Then I'm going to be using this uh, metallic gold powder, foil powder from Wow. I also got this off of Amazon. I'm also going to be using this uh, like prepping pad. It has like powder on it. It's kind of like sanding before you paint. So we're going to be using that to prep our boxes before we stamp them. Then I got this really huge <laughs> um, stamp with a handle from um, Zazzle. Um, I'll leave the link below um, for Zazzle and how you can get this uh, made for your business as well. As you see, it just has a, um, a handle on it and also comes with my custom logo. Then we're going to be using this big emboss it. I had to get a big um, emboss pad because I needed it to match my um, Zazzle stamp. So it's in the color clear. It comes with the pad in the inside of it that has the liquid that you need in order to stamp it onto your box. And I also am going to be using this heat gun from Chandler. I got this off of Amazon as well. Um, it's going to be basically like printing um, all of our um, foil onto the box. It has this handle on there. Um, it comes with the different uh, settings for high and low temperature. And then the cooling button at the top as well. Um, you could just flip the handle up and set it down so that it stays nice and firm on your area. So that's really cute. I like it. It's pink. You know, I love me some pink. Okay, so let's get started. So I'm going to take this prepping pad and I'm just going to basically like fan the area that we're going to be putting the stamping um, at just so that it can adhere and stick. Um, while I was doing this, this is my first trial doing this one. So that's why it's kind of white. I learned a different method after doing it multiple times, but I just wanted to, to show you guys, um, the beginning portion of how I learned. Now we're going to be taking our, um, big stamp from Zazzle. We're going to take the ink pad and put the stamp onto the ink pad just so that we can get some of that clear liquid onto it. 
and make it nice and juicy on the pad so that it can stick really, really well. And that's what I'm doing now. I kind of made sure that I like put it all over the pad so that it can adhere nice and evenly. Now I'm going to take that stamp and I'm basically just going to press it onto the box. Um, I just pressed it down really, really firm and hard so that it will stick to the box and adhere. I pushed it down in the middle and then I also kind of like pushed it down on the sides and voila. See? Ooh! <laughs> I got so excited when I seen this. I was like, oh my God, we're like halfway there. So now you can see the stamp transferred over onto the box and i'm gonna now take the wow metallic glitter and i'm basically just gonna sprinkle that all over that clear area just so that we make sure we cover it all nicely and don't worry you're not gonna waste any glitter because um i have another method that we can use to make sure that our glitter lasts for a while and it um it stays you know with us for a minute without wasting the leftover glitter so you're just going to put that all over your logo area now that we have um the glitter all over the logo area i just took a white piece of paper and folded it down the middle um and just dumped that excess um, glitter that's left over into the paper. Um, this will kind of just assist with us placing the remaining glitter um, back into the wow container so that it's not wasting. And so this is how it's looking so far. <laughs> I'm so excited. That is so cute. So I just um, dumped back this um, on there just to make sure that um, any areas that maybe didn't grab any glitter, um, we were able to place it and fill it in because we want everything to look nice and even and full and really gold and shiny. So I just did that one more time and again, just dumped the remaining glitter onto the paper to put back into the wow container. Now I'm just going to take this makeup brush that I bought and I'm just going to clean up the lines and get rid of any of the extra glitter that's all over the place just so that it's nice and neat. So that's what I'm doing now just going in and making sure that the lines are straight and just um, basically that the glitter is only on the logo area. Now I'm going to be taking the Chandler gun and I'm basically going to turn it on. I didn't really know which um, setting at first was going to work best. Um, both of them actually worked well. Um, so I'm just going to go in and basically heat those gold areas and then it's going to basically imprint it um it turns it into a nice like foily metallic finish so i'm just gonna go over all of the areas and do that so it's nice and melted into the box
Okay, so I warned you guys at the beginning that this was a trial and error situation. So as you can see, I did not measure correctly and I went too low with where I placed my logo stamp. So um, my box actually folded and bent where my website was located. So, um, and plus I hated the white stuff from um, the the prepping pad. I hated it so much. So the next time that I did this, I changed my method completely with getting this done so that we didn't deal with either of those issues. So to get rid of that white residue from the prepping pad, I just simply covered it with a paper towel and used that over top it just so that the white powder wouldn't touch the black box directly. And that worked awesome. Um, plus, of course, measuring it <laughs> the correct way. And once I did that, I was able to get these boxes. So that basically wraps up how I make my custom packaging for my online store and how you can too. I'm going to be leaving all the links down below with all of the information on where you can find all of these items to do this for yourself and for your online business. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them down in the comment section. Also, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and to hit that bell notification because you want to be here when I drop my next video on some great tips that will help you grow grow your business. Um, if you have any questions, just let me know. I would love to hear them. Until then, I'll see you guys later. Love you so much. Peace out.